right, guys, welcome back to the sawmill. It's Saturday. What is today? February the 8th. It's snowing today. Weird weather. It was almost, it was like, uh, gosh, almost 60 degrees a few days ago here. We had about two inches of rain. Now it's in the lower 30s. It's been snowing all day. Crazy weather. Now, friends, this is something I've been wanting to do to the sawmill for a long time. And I've been looking forward to this. And I hope you guys have too. Let me show you what we're working on. All right, friends, here we go. Check out what we got here. I got this about a week ago. And a lot of you might be thinking, what in the world is this? Well, this is a new accessory for the sawmill. And I can't recall what they call this. I should look on the tag. That would probably help me out a lot. This is actually called the board guide assembly for an LT70. A lot of people call them drag bat fingers. Kind of looks like fingers hanging down right there. And they make this for an LT70. They don't make these for any other sawmill but the 70, to my knowledge. So it pretty much consists of this part right here that comes up here and attaches to this other bar. Then you got the fingers hanging down right here. And then this other part right here, which actually mounts to the sawmill right here on the front. Then you got three different adjustment holes, it looks like right there. Depends on how high you want to put up those drag bat fingers. I'm assuming that's why there's so many different adjustment holes in there. We'll find out when we put this thing on. And something else I thought was pretty interesting here that Woodmiser did, they put grease zerts on every one of these fingers that hang down. That's thinking there, guys. That's pretty smart right there. Put those on there. I didn't even think about grease zerts being on here. But that's always good right there. And it's got this little caution tape on here. That way when you're operating the mill or somebody's off bearing, Hopefully they'll see this thing coming back toward them and get out of the way. So I went ahead and disassembled it. I gotta mark my four holes, drill them in the saw head. I'll show you guys where we're gonna mount it. Bolt it down, assemble both parts, and it'll be done. And then we'll saw some logs and see how it does. I got some really nasty white pine over there to me. I got, I mean, we got five of those. I think one of them might be a yellow pine in there too. So we got some pine, that will be good because we do one inch boards on pine and we'll get a good feel on how this is gonna work. All right, friends, right here's where we're gonna mount it. We got the debarker mounted right here. I'm gonna loosen up this little wire holder. We got a lot of stuff here in the way I'm gonna have to hold back. We'll move these cables out of the way. One's going to the debarker, the other one's going to the motor that uh, powers the blade guide arm. So we'll just move these out of the way. We'll mount it on here. And uh, after that's over with, I'll figure out what to do with these two wires. There's a lot of slack left in here, so we should be okay as far as mounting that right here. I'm just not a big fan of drilling holes in this thing, but that's the only way you can do it. A little disclaimer here, guys. Woodmiser does not recommend putting this on their sawmills except for the LT70, which it's built for. And I think the main reason is, is because it hangs back so far, it could hit somebody when it comes back if they're standing right behind the mill. I think that's the main reason, but I'm not sure about that. But if you wanna buy it and put it on your mill, they'll sell you the assembly. It's about $599, not counting shipping. So hopefully it's gonna be worth it, guys. We'll put it on here and see how it goes. See you in just a minute. All right, friends, it's getting a little dark out here. It's about 6.30. I finally got this mounted on. That, that just took longer than I expected. That steel was pretty thick, guys. It was, uh, took a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna take, but we got her on there and she's stout, she's level. Looks pretty good so far. So we'll go ahead now and pull the sawmill forward and put on these drag bat fingers and we should be good to go here. Not too bad. So here's the one problem we have here, guys. It's okay on this end, you know, this right here's gonna fall on the other side of a board and keep it from going sideways on me. But over here on this side, it's not lined up properly. As you can see, the offset is way too far here between the backstop 
and this drag bat fender. This right here, this drag bat fender needs to hang directly over this bat stop or maybe, you know, proud of it just a little, but it needs to be past it. That way the board will catch against this when you drag it back. So here's how we're gonna fix this. It's not gonna be that easy because I'm not a welder. I don't have a welding machine or nothing like that here, a port of bay or any kind of equipment to work with metal. We need to cut this right here where it was welded together and move it toward us about eight inches and re-weld it. That should line it up perfectly over this bat stop. friends we got it moved over it was right there as you can see i moved it over about nine inches luckily i had a neighbor down the street who does some welding on the side so i got that took care of today on sunday i'm pretty happy about that thought i was going to, have to wait till monday to get this done so now i'm going to clean up that weld a little bit with the wire brush get all the dust off of it and up here at the top and also right there where it was at originally We'll put some paint on it and go put it back on the mill and see how we did. All right, friends, while I'm letting that paint dry, I'm going to go ahead and do some maintenance here on the engine. I'm doing oil change on the Yanmar.
Thank you.